And what we saw here yesterday were British Columbians, young and old, Indigenous and non-Indigenous, expressing a staggering lack of confidence in this institution. They were lashing out at all of us. Every one of us received the same treatment coming through those doors. It did not matter where your seat was in this place. The anger, the frustration, the angst that was hurled at us must serve as a wake-up call. Whether you have a Hug a Pipeline sticker on your bumper or not, we've seen the image from around the world of what happens when people lose confidence in their government. From day one, there have been calls from people for the BC Green Caucus to pull government down, punish them for one wrongdoing or another. Yesterday, as I was coming to work to do this job, to even excoriate this government for their lack of attention to some of the details or their unwillingness to help British Columbians see the whole picture of Indigenous relations in this country, people were screaming shame at me. While the members elected to this legislature are largely of a certain generation or two, it is important that we understand the generations following us are of the most aware of the impacts of climate change. They are the most compassionate generation to Indigenous rights issues. And they are possibly the least patient generation ever in this country when it comes to violations against their future and injustices to Indigenous people. We have been educating them to have a different understanding. While this House continues to make the same old decisions to subsidize dinosaurs, the next generation are rightly angry that the members of this House are literally lighting fire to their future. We should be thankful that they bring this awareness and compassion. We should be su not surprised when they react strongly when their elected representatives are selling them out. Also, we are kidding ourselves if we do not see that they are supported by our peers, people of our generation. 